Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 30 October, day before Halloween, trick or treat. Let's see if we get this market has any tricks for us. That dollar yen move up to uh, 71 on the fix there. That was a bit of a trick. Now we're in for a little bit of a treat here as we smash through 104 the figure at the London Open. 59 minutes away. Uh, so buckle up. Put your big boy pants on, um, and let's get ready for what you would argue is a key level, right? I mean, a lot of people are looking at this. This chart um, It's a pretty uh, standard setup here. Reminds me a lot of this 106 level. If you guys were listening in June as I was harping on and on and on, 106, so important. Oh, this is the end of the world, 106, 106. Anyway, bang, 106. We went to 59. That was a Friday. We traded up to 10 on the Monday. Uh, and then down to 104.23. Uh, like all levels, it's never the end of the world. It's never the be-all or end-all. But, um, you know, just got to set yourself up to try and make money on it. So let's see. We had a couple of hundred bucks at the figure yesterday on the bid. A few of the Japanese banks we talked to are, are um, seem to be ready for 104, so I'm not sure it's going to be a waterfall type level, but a daily close below 104 opens things up to the downside. Euro yen obviously crushed, um, continues downward. If you're not short, uh, it's not a good time to sell here, but this stuff does look uh, bad. Dollars are, as we've been talking about. Just try and be core long. The low yesterday was 26. The low today has been 32 and a half. Um, this trend line on the top side is important. But remember, we're smash and grab, right? Got the election on Tuesday. You can't go into the election with a big-ass position. So just grab your cash, tuck it away, and then get right back on your bike another day. Dollar Swiss squeezing. If this was any other currency, I would be buying up through 9170, but it's Dollar Swiss, so fuck it. I'm not doing shit. Aussie looking pretty negative. 81 the high yesterday, 55 the high today. Down here at 26. Uh, anyone want to ring the bell through 70 cents? Anyone? Bueller? Twenty years ago. Uh, well, no, about 15 years ago. I'd be ringing the fucking bell like a like a crazed wolf through 70 cents. But I'll be around. We like this level. Uh, you can imagine what we think of Aussie yen. If we think dollar yen's going down and Aussie's going down, Aussie yen is going to take it right in the kisser. I had a doji yesterday. Has to reconcile itself one side or the other. <clears throat> Doesn't look like the top side is the side, does it? Downside Aussie yen uh, looks to be the way. You can imagine what CAD yen looks like as well. You don't have to be a fucking Einstein genius. Um, 77.90 would be a new low in CAD yen. Dollar CAD was a little bit of a whips whipsicle. We talked about 133.33 and 133.40. That break yielded 81, but then, check out this on the hourly, we traded all the way back to 94. What the hell is that? Anyone want to tell me what the hell that was? That was all the people here who got long through this key level, getting stopped out in the twilight zone. Uh, but now we're marching back higher. We do have CAD GDP today. Uh, currencies aren't really moving on these releases, these economic releases, but... CAD GDP is out today, so if you have dollar CAD on, if you're long, um, we just bought some here at 30. Uh, we're long again. 
careful of the CAD GDP if you've got CAD on. Let's go to gold. Shit is going to get its ass kicked today, I think. Liquidation through 1850 to be expected. Buyers on dips after that liquidation also to be expected. So what to do with that? I don't know. Get short to get long. Very difficult. Uh, that sounds really sexy, like great way to pick up a gal at the bar. I was short, and then I'm long. Check out my average. But actually succeeding in that kind of trading uh, is incredibly hard. What often happens is you're short, um, you get long, and it goes way lower than you think, and then you you went from a very profitable trade to a flat trade, and you know, it's like a ball kick. For me, I just want to be short today. I think they're going to take out this risk on the downside. Um, just clearing out risk from the books pre-election. Um, pre ZB, what a day yesterday. We talked about getting short in the 174.20s. We did not get short enough up there. Now we look like fools. Not great. Not great at trading ZB. I mean, some peanuts, make some peanut butter. But, um, man, we've been banging on the fucking drum since 180. <sighs> Lordy. Anyway, stay short, ZB. And then, um, you know, ring the bell. 171.20. This double bottom, although the double bottom doesn't really work with this, you got to go to TYX because there's two different contracts. As we make new high on yield, ring the bell 169, bang 1.69. Anyway, um, short ZB, Bitcoin bid is all shit. A lot of um, extraneous outsiders joining this uh, distributed ledger technology play blockchain play uh, we've been speaking to uh, just anecdotally some of these blockchain infrastructure companies like Securency and this is the future people this is the future all of finance is going to be flipped on its ass uh, when these guys finally break down the door. We'll talk about that another day. Anyway, back to currencies. We got CAD GDP today. Uh, we're obviously looking at dollar yen downside. We want to be core long dollars are. Maybe stick us some bids in 35 area. Uh, Aussie yen looks like hell. And Aussie dollar, 70 cents. Selling through 70 cents will help you pay your rents. I don't know. Anyway, if you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, I wish you a good weekend, people. Make some dough today. Talk to you on Monday. Ciao.